All right, how good can a $50 Android film? So, I am indoors. So, this is, well, so far throughout 2022, this is considered the best budget phone. The best budget phone for under $100. And it's true. This phone is normally $50 MSRP. And, well, I got it for 30 because of Prime Day. <laughs> um, I, I just wanted an extra Android phone. Uh, my main daily driver is an iPhone SE second generation. So, yeah. I just wanted an Android because, you know, I could get you two music premium without paying for it. And also, I, I miss installing custom modded APKs and just not having to pay for stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth, dog. Anyway, um, yeah. So, I mean, it's going to look like garbage indoors. But I could tell you right now, this is better than a budget phone from LG. The cameras that are on those phones are so bad. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like in the mirror. It's shockingly... Oh, yeah, there's also decent lighting in here as well, so you can actually... Okay, if you're buying this phone, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you it's not for the camera. It's for the budget and the specs for what you're getting for the price. And you're actually getting pretty good specs. I'm not going to lie. You're getting 3 gigs of RAM, which is insane, and it's the new generation of RAM. Um... That's where most of the money went to, is the RAM. Um, it's the same generation. Uh, well, uh, the RAM inside the iPhone SE second generation. So this is 3 gigs of RAM. This phone has 3 gigs of RAM. Now, what they cheap out on is the CPU and GPU. So don't expect to play Subway Surfers on this thing, because it chugs. Um, also, I think most of that's because they put Android 11 on here. Which, I mean, that's pretty new. But at the same time, I mean, you can still use Android 5 if you really want. Well, eh, I would say Android 6, Marshmallow, um, and still have app updates. So they should have put, like, maybe Android 9. I think it's called Pi. Could be wrong. Been a minute. But, yeah, it's the TCL A3. Now, I, I actually recommend buying the Pro version because I think they made a, a Pro model of this. I think it's, like, the TCL A3X. I could be mistaken, but I know there's a pro version of this, where I think it's $100 instead of $50. But, yeah, recommend checking that out. Um, but, yeah, this is where they cheaped out on, is the CPU. It's a 2.0 octa-core processor. Now, it is four cores, which is good, because let's just say only having two cores is just not enough, even for a phone. No, no. 10 years ago, that was bad. So luckily, it's using four. The gigahertz is where it's low, and also, I mean, it's just a... That's why the battery... That's why they preach good battery life, is because the CPU isn't very strong. It's equivalent to, like, a lower spec... It. You know how, like, in, you know how you see those budget laptops or whatever, and they have those, like, Intel Celerons, and that's why the battery's so good? That's because the CPU is low-powered, and that's why, you know, it doesn't chug too badly... Um, the three gigs of RAM is where it shines because you can do it quite a bit, but Android 11, here's the problem. Android 11 is unoptimized with RAM, especially this flavor of Android because TCL decided to make bloatware for it. So it took me forever to remove everything. I recommend unlocking the bootloader and just putting a third party Android operating system on here because good God. Um, so yeah. I feel like if they put Android 9 or even 10, just one before, the performance would be even better. But the performance is actually pretty good. I mean, I can watch YouTube videos at, shockingly, 2K. This screen has a 2K screen on it. It's 1440p, which is insane. The most expensive things they put in here was the screen and the RAM, and then cheaped out on everything else. It has Bluetooth 5.0 but they used uh, a crappy controller for it. So like if you have Wi-Fi on, don't even think about using Bluetooth at the same time because it would just, it just it'd interfere with it so bad. So ignore that. Um, the camera on here, I've watched some of the footage back. It's, it's just say it's usable. Like if I needed to use it for something like a video call. Yeah. 
but the camera is not anything amazing. It's eight megapixels and a five, uh, five megapixel front facing camera. Um, yeah, I mean, for 50 bucks, you're getting a good deal. I'll just say that. But Android 11, way too new and way too much, way too power hungry for the CPU to keep up. Um, so I recommend flashing a custom ROM on here. That's Android 9. So that, you know, I mean, Android 9 is still new. Most phone, most people are still using Android 7. Like, the daily user Android is Android uh, version 7 or version 8. So, using 9 is not that bad. But, I don't recommend, I recommend staying at 9 or above. So, I would not go lower than 9. Um, so, yeah, Android is just, it's very RAM hungry as well. So, like, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. 3 gigs of RAM on Android is not not the same as 3 gigs of RAM on an iPhone. And I'm going to go ahead and say I love Android. I grew up with Android. I love it. You, well, you get more freedom too. Um, but the RAM management is just so bad on Android, even though it's been around for like 12 years now. It's still terrible. For some reason, it just takes up more re- – uh, Android just takes up more resources – I don't know why iOS doesn't, but whatever. But at the same time, to be fair, iPhones only have like one like thing. There's different, there's billions of Android devices that have different chips in it. So to be fair, on iOS, they don't have, I mean, Apple makes their own hardware, so they can make it more optimized. But still, it's just... 3 gigs of RAM, and the system takes up half of it. So, like, on iPhone, literally only half a gig of RAM is used for the operating system. So, like, it already beats it. So, like, half versus 1.5 for the operating system. And Apple already wins. So, really, you only get 1.5 to 2 gigs of RAM for actual use. So... That's also why I said use Android 9 or something. Use something that's not as power hungry. Also, I recommend turning developer mode on, turning on, turning on um, do not keep activities and have it set to like two processes running in the background and then turning off the animations. I do that on internet, every Android phone, even if it's a flagship because it makes it feel faster. As well as... Um, Uh, yeah, I mean, as well as making it to where, depending on your Android flavor, it will be auto start, not turn off the ability for apps to start background processes when you first turn on the phone. The only thing I have on on this phone is find my device. I also made sure this device was encrypted, so if someone steals it at school again, um, even if they reset it using the secret method, which doesn't work anymore, especially now that I'm on Android 11 with the latest security update, I made sure I had encrypted on. So if you don't know, used to, you could if you found someone's Android, you could just like hold the power button and the power, uh, hold the power button, hold the power button and the uh, volume button, and it'll go to this menu and you can factory reset it from there without a password. Now, what will happen is, since it's at the bootloader level, it'll lock the bootloader, which means you can't install any other operating system on here. And... If you try to reset the phone, it'll let you, but then when you try to set it up, it'll ask you for the original Google account that was on the device. Like, it will make you sign in. If you don't have the person's password, you're screwed. And I have two-step on, so even if you knew my password, you still couldn't get in. So, yeah, I made sure of that because someone stole my phone, my other Android. I like to have an Android and an iPhone on me because I like to use Android sometimes for certain things. So, yeah. I'm not even going to make it manually focus. I'm going to see if it can auto-focus on its own here. Come on. Okay. A little slow. Okay, let's not use that zoom. Ah! Controls are inverted. How do I zoom out?
Okay, that's actually pretty fast. This thing's supposed to be doing a time lapse. I don't see how it can do that. Okay, it is still on. Yeah. Anyway, peace.